925 pounds oh my god that's how much uh people have donated to gofundme i am super grateful so i've just had a, uh, an email from gofundme that they're transferring some they transfer little bits at a time depending on how your settings go i think i originally had it set as daily so it's like little bits of trickly bits coming in i changed it to weekly because i preferred like a lump sum uh, I think there's like £500 coming through. I've had like a £200 lump sum come through. So this week, as long as that money arrives um, and a couple of the big jobs, everything lines up to this week, I should be able to buy my first tool back from all the tools that were stolen. I think I, um, so there was three chainsaws, two hedge, because that's five, uh, backpack blower and a strimmer. So that was seven tools, chunky tools that like are a hell of a lot of money. And uh, I think uh, the leaf, the leaf blower that uh, is a, a direct replacement for the one because I really need a decent leaf blower. I've been lent some, but um, the leaf season, leaf dropping season, is upon us, and um, I've got a couple of big jobs coming up. I have to hold fire though because I've got a, also got a bit of hedge job, and I've got, I'm using a borrowed hedge cutter, and I need to get this job completed, and. I'd rather hold back from buying the leaf blower with the anticipation that potentially if this borrowed hedge cutter breaks on me, I won't have a tool to finish the job. So I'm going to hold fire for the next two days. This job's going to take me at least two days. Um, so with that money, if, if I need to and this uh, <coughs> hedge cutter breaks, I will my first tool will be the hedge cutter that I'll buy. If that holds out, this borrowed hedge cutter, I might get the leaf blower. Oh, it's a hard decision to make because I do have another couple of hedges coming up around the corner. So um, it might be wise to maybe buy the hedge cutter first, the long reach hedge cutter. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud because I need a leaf blower, but I do have a leaf blower that could probably get by on some of these beastie jobs. Uh, but anyway, my main p reason for this post today is to say thank you, thank you, thank you again. I know I've said thank you lots, but I am so grateful. It's a long way from my target, but it is like a third of the way, 925, it's like a thousand pounds. My target was 3000, but I didn't expect that, to be honest. I expected, I don't know, I don't know what I expected, but I, I, I'm ever so grateful, humbled, the humanity of people is amazing. Um, I've been made to feel a little bit guilty by some people on Facebook posts that it's my own fault. I know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. But hey-ho, the kindness of people still remains and I am ever so grateful for that. And um, yeah, so that was my little update. I think that's kind of come to an end. I think um, the, 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 the funds have slowed down and I think... I think I'm going to be okay, you know, um, with these big jobs that I've got. I should be able to buy a couple more tools in the next few weeks, along with paying rent. I think I'm going to be okay. Um, I feel so much more positive. Now I've got a couple of these big jobs done. I finished that big hedge on Saturday. She paid me. That was good. That will be rent money. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to be all right. The sun is shining today. Uh, I've got a BC hedge, another BC hedge to do today. And um, I'm ever so grateful for the sun as well. Bring that sun. Need more of that warmth. Um, people, have a good day. In, I hope you had a nice uh, firework night last night. And on Saturday, we went and saw some on Saturday. It was great, great fun. And um, see you tomorrow. Take care, peeps.